You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 16th day of December 2022, and our topic for today is Cover Your Children. Let us pray. Our great and mighty Father in heaven, we love you and we worship your holy name. We thank you for being a good, good Father to us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for keeping and preserving us. Thank you for being our great provider, the source of our help, the one who daily loads us with benefits. We are grateful and we say be exalted in Jesus' name. We have come before you today again, hungry and more desirous for your word than we have ever been before. We ask that you speak to us words that would sink deep into our spirits, open the eyes of our understanding, and let them be fruitful. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Zechariah chapter 13 verse 7. Zechariah 13 verse 7 reads, Smite the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered, and I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. Zechariah chapter 13 verse 7. Our text for today is from the book of Job chapter 1 from verse 4 to 5. Job chapter 1 verse 4 to 5 reads, And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Job chapter 1 from verse 4 to 5 God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says, Cover your children. And in the body of our devotional for today, our Father and the Lord says to us, Many a time, when the devil wants to attack a family, he goes by the principle that if you cannot get the trunk, go for the branches. If you cannot get the father, go for the son. If you cannot get the mother, go for the daughter. He then begins to attack the children. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 21 to 28, the woman that came to Jesus Christ said, The devil is vexing my daughter. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 14 to 18, a man came to Jesus Christ and said, The devil is vexing my son. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 22 to 36, the Bible tells us that it is the sons of Eli that destroyed his legacy. For many Christians, the only problem they have is with their children. That will come to an end today in Jesus' name. Many years ago, I was invited to preach to a group of eminent personalities in Ikoi, Lagos, Nigeria, and I had prepared to minister on the topic, You Need a Miracle. I was told to sit in the sitting room of the host while other guests arrived. From where I sat, I could see four other sitting rooms in ascending order of splendor. I wanted to change my topic because I believed that this fellow did not need a miracle at all. God then spoke to me and said, The family needs a miracle more than you know. They had one son, and he was a drug addict. When his mother refused to give him any more money to buy drugs, he decided to deal with her, and so, when she was traveling, he planted drugs in her handbag. She got to Britain before she was found out and arrested, but she was able to wriggle her way out of the problem. After the sermon, the Almighty God stepped into the situation. The boy gave his life to Christ and the yoke was destroyed. I decree right now, the Almighty God will convert every child giving you trouble in Jesus' name. Start covering your children with the blood of Jesus right from when they are young. The Bible says that the blood of Jesus has power to overcome the devil. When the devil sees the blood of Jesus on your children, he will run away. Every single day, ensure you cover your children with the blood of Jesus. Don't wait 
until you see any signs of them misbehaving. Cover them from now. The devil's plan will fail over your children in Jesus' name and we say a resounding Amen in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless his word to us today. Hallelujah. Once again, our topic for today says, Cover your children. And from the introduction of the message for today, our Father and the Lord makes us understand that the enemy has a system. He never gives up. When he tries to get the parents and they seem to be too tough for him, he goes for the children. This explains to us today why we must be very intentional about our children. We must ensure to train them up in the way of the Lord like the scripture instructs us to do and we must also ensure to hold them up and to be a proper covering for them spiritually. Many of them in their tenderness and innocence, in their youthfulness and ignorance, may not understand the tricks of the enemy. But then that is why they are handed over to you. That is why God puts you in charge of them. That is why he has put them under your care. That is why he made you their custodian. It is important to see this as a duty and a responsibility that God has entrusted you with. From today's study, we can see two examples that stand out. That of Job who constantly interceded for his children and was a spiritual covering for them. And that of Eli, a family that was supposed to be devoted to the service of the Lord. A family that the Lord desired that they would stand before him to minister. However, because there was no proper covering for the children, we can see that there were boomerangs of terrible events. In 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 12, scripture tells us that the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. It says they knew not the Lord. The Lord had even warned Eli about his sons, yet we heard of them continuing in their acts. One occasion when the Lord brought warnings through Samuel, Eli's response is found in 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 18, where he said, It is the Lord, let him do what seemeth him good. Eventually, when destruction came, it was a great one. Eli and his two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, died the same day. The ark of the Lord was captured that same day. Also, one of the wives of the sons of Eli went into forced labor on hearing the sad news. She eventually died, but before she died, she named the child Ichabod, saying that the glory had departed from Israel. And by this, Eli's priestly lineage was cut short and the people of Israel were greatly dealt with. This would definitely not have been the case if Eli had taken his place to cover his children properly to avoid the wrath of the Lord. It was a day of national tragedy. Dear parents and even parents-to-be, this is a very important instruction from the Lord to us today. Providing for the physical needs of the children, clothing them, feeding them, and giving them the good life is important. However, care for their spiritual needs as well. Care for their spiritual covering. By so doing, you and everyone around you would enjoy rest, and by extension also, our nations and the world at large would rejoice. Malachi 2 verse 15 reveals to us the desire of the Lord. The scripture there tells us that he seeks a godly seed. It is not enough to be responsible for bringing them into the world and for caring for their physical needs alone. Take heed to your spiritual assignment. Hallelujah. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and begin to appreciate the Lord for even the gift of children. Say, Father, thank you for giving to us your promise. Thank you for beautifying our lives with these young ones. Your word says, Children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. You have promised that they would surround our table, and now the promise is fulfilled. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Now also begin to commit our children into the hands of the Lord. Say, Father, for every one of them, today we mark them with the blood of Jesus. We exempt them from every evil manipulation. We exempt them from evil influences. We exempt them from associations from the pit of hell. Declare over them that in the name of Jesus, in all that they do, in their going out and in their coming in, in their interactions, they will not meet with destiny destroyers. They will not meet with those who mortgage destinies. They will not align with those whose ways lead to destruction. Declare over their lives that in the name of Jesus, the devil's plan over them has failed, is failing, and would continue to fail in the name of Jesus. If you are yet to have your own children, you can make prayer investments ahead for them. Declare into their lives the things that you want to see. Declare into their lives the things that you want them to manifest. 
We declare over them today in the name of Jesus that they love the Lord. Their ways please the Lord. They fulfill divine purpose and destiny in the name of Jesus. Cover them with the blood of Jesus that the eyes of evil ones will not see them. They will never be located by evil friends. Declare over them that in the name of Jesus, there will be contagious influences for Jesus. Wherever they go, they will win men over to the side of Christ. They will be young, youthful, and useful instruments in the hands of the Lord. They will bring glory and honor to the name of the Lord. They will make their parents proud. They will be children to be reckoned with for good. We cover them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us today. We thank you for the gift of children. We also thank you for the great plans and the beautiful destinies that you have for them. We ask that you would preserve them, keep them, cover them from the wiles of the enemy. We declare that they are mighty men for you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point in today's study that says, Start covering your children with the blood of Jesus every day from now. And receive the grace today to always do so and to continuously intercede for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 1st Timothy chapter 1 down to chapter 5. Hallelujah. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send your WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Be reminded to also like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 16 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, O God, our help in ages past. As we go forth today, we declare according to the word of the Lord that we and the children that the Lord has given to us are for signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Have an awesome day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Under the shadow of thy throne, thy saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is thy norm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received a frame. From everlasting the watch God to endless is the same. A thousand ages in thy sight are like an evening gone, short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Time like an ever-rolling stream bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be Thou our God while troubles last, and our eternal home. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.